So right now we're actually supposed to be on an airplane, but we missed the flight, so we decided to try a new hotel in Panama. We stayed at the Hilton for one night. The views were amazing. The hotel wasn't as nice, but that view made up for it. Um, so we checked into the hotel, put our bags and everything down, and decided to try out the mall in Panama. Their mall is super nice. They have a lot of American stores that we have. You really would enjoy this mall. Um, afterwards, we came back and went to the casino. The casino is attached to the Hilton Hotel, and it has a restaurant and also a salsa club inside of the casino area, which I thought was really nice. They do close the casino at 11 p.m., which is an okay time because we originally thought that it was a 10 p.m. curfew in Panama. We got up super early this morning because we decided that we did not want to miss the flight. But we're on our way now to breakfast at Mahalo. Turn right, then slight left. Head southwest on Avenida Balboa toward Avenida B, then turn right onto Avenida B. Turn right onto Avenida B. Yeah, we gotta tell you the story. Yeah, tell two me. stories, really, because we're supposed to leave, but we're we'll going to see. I see. We are at Mahalo, Coquina. Coquina, Ijari. Ijari, maybe. I don't think it's really good. Uh, I don't know. Coquina, Ijari. Having some brunch. Um, you will have to show them that. Yeah, I want the fried rice, shrimp fried rice inside of a pineapple. Okay, so which, what are you going to drink? You want to do some bottomless mimosas on the last day? Because I am. Drink where the? Two hours. Two hours nights. And we only gonna be here for like an hour and a half. Because after this, we have to go straight to the airport. Okay. And we are definitely going straight to the airport because yesterday we missed the flight. Yep. We um. We arrived the hour. We was we were exactly be hour four minutes late, and they would not let us get in. They would not let us change our flight at the airport, so I had to be on hold for like an hour. To see couldn't chat with Delta representatives. Oh my god, that was a hummingbird. It was so cute. It's small. Oh man. Hope we don't see a jaguar. It's so big. So well, I see big. a lizard for real. Like, you know, Where? He's climbing to that ceiling. He probably should be inside. Can you got me close to the, um, to the lead? You should have probably over our head, too. Probably like that? What you want to do? It's cute, though. But, you do it wasn't really outside, it would be I guess it's the other way. Yeah. yeah. But, sure. um... Okay. Last day, we didn't go to the real jungle, so... He was scared to go to the real jungle. Not really. You wasn't? No. You were? I wasn't scared. You were scared of the spiders and stuff? No, never not scared of the spiders. The frogs? Uh, nah. More so, maybe like snakes, but probably it. Yeah. I was scared of everything. Jaguar. So, back to that first night. When we almost left. You want to tell them? Yeah, you can tell them. Okay. So, we got on the plane. Mm -hmm. And we just got in bed. And the alarm went off. And the lady was speaking Spanish and said, Basically, um, evacuate. Evacuate. Do not, do not go down this um, elevator. Can you grab that um, glasses, please? Out the car? No, no, just you gotta go. It's in the car. The the yeah, room. And the um, but they said do not go down the elevator, so we had to. And we was on the 16th floor, so we had to run. Well, we packed up the suitcase first, put on some clothes, ran out the door. He carried the suitcase down 16th floor. I'll say 14 flights of stairs because after the, uh, a couple That's of them, two. he yeah. dropped because he was running down the stairs. Next thing you know, 
the doors were open in dark rooms and I'm thinking like, oh my God, somebody's about to come out and kidnap us. I watched so many movies and movies. But that's all I was thinking. I'm like, oh my God, they go hop out. I was like, are they gonna hop, down, hop out downstairs? And they never hopped out down. Then we got all the way down to the bank and the guy came out laughing. That's what made me extra scared. He came out laughing. Remember? Oh, no, I didn't know he was laughing. He was laughing. He was, he was like, uh, don't panic. It's all right. I'm laughing. Oh, he was smiling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I knew he was smiling. I'm like, man, he about to get us. He about to kidnap us. We're going to be on the news. All types of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I was thinking like that. I was. I really was. I think I thought I thought it was like a real fire. That's why I was like, dang, man. Oh, you thought it was a real fire? Yeah. Not me. I went to panic mode. Once those doors were open like that, I'm like, what the world? Then we the only ones running down the stairs. I didn't see not one other person come out the room, down the stairs. So I'm thinking it's like, I don't know. And then, especially because the pool got had looked at us here. I'm paranoid. And we sat in the car for like an hour trying to figure out. I'm like, I want to go home. I'm picking up flights. Yeah. I didn't really want to leave until we got the suitcase back. So we had to tell them to try to go find it. Um, we said, well, they ain't giving it back. Um, and that was it. Pretty much. They yeah. wanted to talk to us. Um, I guess somebody wouldn't like give them a bad review or something. And what um, about the guy though that was just staring at me while you was talking? Oh yeah, I mean he was pretty weird. That creeped me out so bad. Like he literally was like this the whole time I was talking. So people are kind of weird. Um, and I don't think it's because of us being African American. I think it's just and they just stare out here. I don't know. I think they, they just have staring problems. Or we look different because out here. Did you see the girl who just checked us out? I mean, the one who was next to her? I went back uh, and I looked when I was paying the uh, parking. Did you see how she looked? Identical to us. For real? Yeah. But maybe it's the way that um, we're dressed up. Maybe that's why they really. They have a different type of dress and style. So, if you ever come to Panama, I suggest you wear like jeans, t-shirts, and closed toe shoes. Closed toe shoes, yeah. You don't really see people wearing sandals. You don't see like nice shoes. I'm gonna have to get into his shoes in a minute. What oh, Nike shoes? Yeah. 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 Your shoes really stand out too. Not in a bad way. Well, I say like you all should wear um, whatever you want to wear. Yeah, because it's hot. <laughs> it is. Yeah, I wouldn't really wear like thin jeans like that. It's like too hot for jeans, especially even if you come like later in the year. I guess it would be even hotter, maybe like June, July. Sure. I think it would be even like like more hot. So I wouldn't wear any jeans. But if you don't want to get like she said, maybe staring at yourself. I guess. What's so, up, you? I beat him drinking some mimosas. Nah. I think I probably had at least about 15. She probably had about six. Nah, I had like 20. All right, now, as y'all see, my cup was clearly finished before I next. You have to look very close. But this is the town. I like this restaurant because it's right by the police station. Over there. 
And now he lost the keys. Just kidding. Y'all wanna see our car? I'm a, wait, I'm gonna show them the car. That's what I I think, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> it can't be, because I had it on the whole time. This is our car. It's a Ferrari. Kia Ferrari. Yeah. It's a Kia Picasso. Oh. You can leave it open for a little. Okay. Thank you. All right, now we're headed to the airport. We're not gonna miss this flight. It's 9.35. Yep. Um, our flight leaves at 2.16, so we'll be on time. Yes. This red light, let me just tell y'all about his driving. My driving is A1 and I'm a race car driver, so no, I don't drive like everybody no, else in the world. No, I'm super scared. Like, y'all hear that engine? Oh my god! <laughs> We're in the Picate Helicate. The Picate Helicate. I want to go in a Nissan. Is it scary? It like it. See, look at this. <laughs> you gotta slow down, man. Then he blew on the horn at people. Like, oh my god. You see? Uh uh. Uh, we made it to the airport. I'm about to take this car back. Um, hopefully they don't make us do COVID testing, but we're not sure. I know they have it in the airport. Yeah. I think it's like $25 for the test, but we'll see. Be right back. And hopefully we make it on its flight. Just playing. We are gonna make it on the flight. Oh yeah, when we first came, I did buy a um, SIM card for Digicel because if I didn't, my phone wouldn't work. Did your phone work? Uh, good? Not no, really. You had to use Wi Fi. I had service, but it didn't really work. Yeah. And we rented that car from Ace to rent a car. Um, the guy was really friendly, helpful, and it was only $19 per day. But we did it online. So if you ever come, I suggest you do it online first. If not, it's $25 per day. Okay, so we do have to take COVID testing. He's in there taking his down. I just took mine. It's just a little swab around your nose. It's not too bad. And then we have to wait for 30 minutes for the results. Good thing we got to the airport so early. They asked that you get to the airport within 30 minutes of your flight. I definitely so, meant to say well, three hours before your flight. Results. Just got our COVID testing. Let's see. No detector. Let's see. No detector. Hold I mean, on, wait. Whoa. What does it say? It says that. Uh, no detector. So now we're about to go bored. No detector. We're about to go home. I was kind of nervous. Yeah, my throat's running. And my nose running. But I think it's because of the air last night. Yeah. Well, just take your no detector on. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Parties. 
No plane on Sunday. This one right here smells good. It's like tacos and stuff. For real? Okay, bet. Bet. I wonder if you just sit down. What time is it? We just got our food. I wasn't expecting the whole fish like this. Thought it was gonna be cut up and stuff, but I'm gonna eat it though. All right, so overall, you know what I'm saying? This is just a quick overview of our trip. This is showing exactly what we saw, the things that we did, um, the food that we ate. This is just a quick snippet off of our Instagram. Um, just showing everything, you know what I'm saying? A full overview of the trip. We will have lots more trips to come, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you all are following us um, on Instagram and all social media platforms. And we also will be putting those in, inside of the description. Um, but yeah, so this is just an overall, man. Um, some pretty good sights, some pretty good views of our trip we really enjoyed it man and if you all um are thinking about booking a trip to panama city panama alexis um can also help you with that uh, make sure to dm her on her social media platforms and just reach out and, and tell her exactly what you're trying to do um and even other locations you know what i'm saying not just panama city panama and we appreciate you guys next time